Letter from the Heart Chun Hu, the 9th of October 2004 Respectfully addressed to, Huan, Chun Than, Than Kuang, Tu Kuang, Tam Duck, Tu Duck, Tam Hen, Duck Thong Hen, Lu Hu, Min Duck, Lu Dao, and the elderly. During the days I met Buddhist followers in Hanoi, I felt uneasy and worried as your buddies of four great elements had warned that the time left was not much. In the future, some will stay, some will go and go forever, but where will you go, do you the elderly know? Huan, Chan Than, Than Kuang, Tu Kuang, Tam Duck, Tu Duck, Tam Hen, Duck Thong, Lu Hu, Min Duck. Lu Dao and the elderly, do you remember my teachings? The mind which is peaceful, blissful and carefree is the place that you will return to when you leave these bodies of four great elements. In that place there is forever no rebirth, in that place there is no longer suffering. That is the place where the Buddhas of the past, the present and the future peacefully dwell. Previously, during my days traveling to the north, I met you in the bodies of four great elements, but now and in the future, I will meet you in the state of peace, bliss and carry freeness, do you understand this? This will happen if you can keep this state, otherwise we can hardly meet. To maintain the mind of peace, bliss and carry freeness is not an easy task. If at present you do not practice when the bodies of four elements are still healthy and strong, how can you practice the mind of peace, bliss and carry freeness when the bodies of four great elements become old, worn out and weak? The karmic force is formidable influence when it visits you, by that time you no longer have the strength to stand it, your mind is no longer judicious. Many times it can make you lose consciousness. You would no longer be aware of anything and live as if you were dead. At such moment, what else do you have? Karma causality takes rebirth. One human life is finished and then forever. Alas! A rebirth is full of sufferings, who knows? You can imagine. The time from death to rebirth in the mother's womb is a long series of unlimited sufferings of human life. At the time of death, you are restless, exhausted, and your bodies are painful and aching, worn out. At the time of rebirth, you lie curled up in mother's womb, immersed in an impure and dirty liquid, it's too difficult to move. It is a rebirth of such suffering, however, few people know about this suffering. If you want to stop rebirth, right now you have to assiduously practice with all your efforts, in front of all obstacles of either joy or sorrow, you let go of all. How to let go of them? You let go of them with the method to guide the mind. Follow the method of creating thoughts to lead the mind to the state of liberation in order to guide the mind to let go of things. The mind is peaceful, blissful and carefree. Worldly things are the things of life and death, the things of sufferings. I have to finish them immediately. After creating such thought, you should continue to create thoughts to lead the mind to the place of no suffering. If the mind is subjected to obstacles, you should have this thought. With peaceful and tranquil mind operation, I know I'm breathing in. With peaceful and tranquil mind operation, I know I'm breathing out. Then in silence you breathe in and out five times and repeat the thought. If your body is in sickness, you should have this thought. With peaceful and tranquil body operation, I know I'm breathing in. With peaceful and tranquil body operation, I know I'm breathing out. Then in silence you breathe in and out five times and repeat the thought. The mind of peace, 
Bliss and carry freeness is the only method to defeat all karmic obstacles besieging you. Tu Kuang, Tu Duck, Tanhan, Duck Thong and the elderly, you should remember to assiduously practice regardless of good health or illness. You should not waste any time, even a minute, a second or a moment, because your lifetime left is very precious. A piece of time and a piece of gold. A piece of gold is easy to find. A piece of time lost is impossible to retrieve. You should leave the work to your children and grandchildren. They are all grown up and can shoulder family affairs well. As for you, you should take care of yourselves, light the torch to walk on your own feet, save yourselves, as the time left is too little. The time left is only enough for you to practice to prepare sufficient inner power for yourselves when the enemy of life and death visits you. When you practice and maintain the mind of peace, bliss and carry freeness, it has a very powerful inner power, a marvelous power of resistance, it will help you to repel all obstacles such as sicknesses, sorrows, accidents, anxiety, love, hate, resentment etc. It also helps you to maintain your mind of unshakableness in front of of illness and feelings. When the karmas come to you, you only need to create the thought. The mind is peaceful, blissful and carefree. All things are impermanent, go away. They are not allowed to stay in my body and mind. When you have such thought, you have to be unyielding and dauntless, and have full fortitude to fight. Sometimes you only need to repeat this thought three or four times. The obstacles will no longer influence your mind and body, however you need to remember well that if you want to repel the obstacles, you have to strictly observe the precepts. Because the precepts are the goodness, they will transform all your karmic retribution of sufferings of many lives. To gather the precepts you use the method of creating thoughts to lead the mind to the state of liberation as a reinforcement, you will repulse all the obstacles and no of illness can influence your bodies and minds. Before you leave this life, only this method can help you to escape sufferings and put an end to rebirth in the circle of life and death. This is the method that the Buddha bequeathed to us with his compassion. I do not see even one other thing, because, with the method of creating thoughts to lead the mind to the state of liberation, sorrows and sufferings which have not arisen do not arise, sorrows and sufferings which have already arisen are eliminated. This is a priceless method that no gold, gem and diamond can be compared to it, you should remember this. You should remember to hold on to the method like holding on to the Lafi buoy to cross the sea, so that you overcome the wind, waves and storms of human life and reach the other shore. Let go of the method means to let go of the Lafi buoy, you will drown in the sea of rebirth from one life to another forever. Henceforth, we, teacher and disciples, cannot meet again forever. I send you my warm regards and wish you good health and hope that you practice the let go well, always maintain your mind of peace, bliss and carry freeness, I wish you great success. With all respects. Your teacher.